The idea of the study arises from a preliminary literature review on celiac disease and fertility problems. We found that most of the studies were conducted in women attending infertility clinics who were subsequently screened for celiac disease, and these women may not be representative of the general population. So we conducted a population-based study in the UK to assess the association between celiac disease and fertility problems. We used the Health Improvement Network database, which is a large, anonymized, electronic primary care database from the UK with clinical information on over 2 million women between 1990 and 2013. We identified women with celiac disease and fertility problems using specific medical read codes used to record clinical information in these data in the UK. We then estimated eight specific rates of new clinically recorded fertility problems in women with and without celiac disease. These rates were then stratified by whether celiac disease was diagnosed before the fertility problem, which was labeled as the diagnosed group, or afterwards, which was labeled as the undiagnosed group. And these rates were then compared to the rates in general population using Poisson regression. Out of the 2,426,224 women, 6,506 had celiac disease, which gives the clinically diagnosed prevalence of 0.3%. Of these women, 290 had evidence of clinically recorded fertility problems, 42% of which were in women with undiagnosed celiac disease and 58% in diagnosed celiac disease. The median difference between the new clinically recorded fertility problem and celiac disease diagnosis was two months. In women with celiac disease, the rate of new clinically recorded fertility problems was highest in the 25 to 29 year age group which was 12.5 per 1,000 person years, and in women without celiac disease, the rate was highest in the 30 to 34 year age group, which was 12.6 per 1,000 person years. Across all age groups, however, there was no statistically significant difference between the rates of new clinically recorded fertility problems in women with and without celiac disease. We did not find any statistically significant difference between the rates of new clinically recorded fertility problems in women with both undiagnosed and diagnosed celiac disease compared with women without celiac disease, except for the 25 to 29 year age group, where women with diagnosed celiac disease were 41% more likely to have clinically recorded fertility problems compared to women without celiac disease. However, the absolute excess risk was only 0.5%. Our findings indicate that most women with celiac disease, either diagnosed or undiagnosed, do not have a substantially greater likelihood of clinically recorded fertility problems than women without celiac disease. Therefore, Screening when women initially present with fertility problems may not identify a significant number of women with celiac disease beyond the general population prevalence. This may be more appropriate at a later stage of clinical diagnostic pathway when women are identified with unexplained infertility. However, in terms of the clinical burden of fertility problems at a population level, these findings should be reassuring for women with celiac disease and all stakeholders involved in their care.